Let me know. Here we go. How's it sounding? Hey guys, can you hear me? Good now? All right. All right, we are live on the set of Gutted, the reality show, season two. You can watch season one right now by downloading Blank Space. You can watch for free, download it in the App Store or the Google Play Store. I just removed this table out of a school bus that they built on season one. What is Gutted? It's a reality TV show where seven teams come, excuse me, three teams of seven come together. They don't know each other. They get a gutted RV, school bus, or van. They got a container of building materials. And then they got to build that RV in five days. I'm going to make this a nice, beautiful gray marble. We'll go check out that school bus when we're done. Uh, this was a this was a tabletop in a school bus. It had poly and stain. It had seams here. I ripped it out, I sanded it down with 220 grit, I bonded all those little seams so they don't go through, I bonded the pinholes, we painted it with a custom color, and now it's time for the epoxy. I have, I don't know, 60, 32 ounces of epoxy. I'm gonna get to mixing, because I'm on the clock. Let me know where you're watching from, and share the video to help us grow, guys. Augustine, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, everyone. Hey, Clara. What's up, RK3 Designs? You're on the insiders of your business page. Awesome. Guys, our mic was being weird, so I had to pull it out. So let me know uh, how we're sounding as we go along. Um, we're just kind of going run and gun. We really wanted to bring you guys in and include you on what we're doing today. And so uh, just let me know. Let me know where you're coming in from. Uh, how's everyone doing today? Uh, this is for a schoolie, a little bus, dinette table. Uh, it was wood. It was worn. It looked like doo-doo, and uh, we're going to liven it up. He had some gray tile backsplash in the bus, and so we're going to go for a subtle gray marble today. Uh, currently, we have a crowd behind us. We're doing a live workshop showing these folks uh, everything and anything about Stone Coat Epoxy. So it's a great day out here in Smithville, Missouri. And um, we're going to get going here pretty soon. And let me know if, if there's anyone here that does the van life, bus life, uh, sprinter vans. A lot of these folks come together from all across the country, and this is what they do for a living. It's a really, really unique and fun uh, community that these guys have built. And, uh, I mean, who doesn't love DIY stuff? So and um, Stone Coat just goes hand in hand with this type of culture and we just love it. ATD in the house. Guys, we're gonna do a gray marble. Check out this white metallic in the sunshine. We don't normally get to do epoxy in the sunshine, but we gotta be on the clock, dude. I need Hey, Rhonda. Uh, yes. All right, guys, I'm gonna sign off right now. I'm being called to duty. I will post a picture of this finished product as soon as I can. This is going to in, a, in a actual van. Sorry, guys, I'm moving the tripod around. If, uh, if it's jumpy, that's why. Let me know right, if it's a uh, little too much. Gray made up. Okay. How many, how many ounces? Uh, do like 12 or 24, I don't care. Just mix up 24 because we'll, we'll use it for another thing. 24 ounces? Mm -hmm. right, yeah. Which one did you? Which one you oh, want? I got a white. diamond dust. I got white. You want metallic. this a white opaque here, or you want? Uh, I would do the opaque. Oh. The bigger one. Okay. Mm. You have the white. The white, you have the white guy. Right here. All right, guys, so what we're doing here is we're going to create a gray. So I'm taking our white opaque dye. Sorry, guys. Uh, the 
white. Oh, I got it right here. It's just got the. Yeah. Um, Do we have another white? Yeah, just use one. Oh, here. That's good. Oh, here. Oh, here. Oh, here. Yeah. All right. So we got white, and I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to make it gray. And this stuff is super concentrated. So I'm gonna actually put it on the stick first. Well, okay, I am. Literally. That's how little bit amount I'm going to put on there because we want to start getting a custom gray. And there we go. You want it darker than this? And I'll make this one pure white. Yeah, guys. So uh, there's the there's where they're filming the show, way over there. We got the three teams. They're going ham. Uh, and here is some of. Say hi, everyone. Hello. These wonderful people have joined us today just to learn about stone coat. Here's a piece that. Say hey, Keith. Hey y'all. Hey, there's Keith McGinnis with KCDC Designs, and uh, he just made this piece. Do we have any left? Yeah. What do you guys think? Those edges look so cool. How it rolls over, right? Yeah. Yes. Not bad. That piece is looking good. Now, do, you, do, you, do you ever take the, um, the bottom the, and then pull it off, or does it look better if it just rolls over? It depends what technique we're doing. Yeah. Okay. If we go the, the dirty pour, exotic pour, we're using more ounces per square foot. Yeah. At that point, we'll tape the edges to kind of hold it for a little bit, let that gel up over about an hour, two hours. Yeah that tape and that way when it goes over you don't get a bunch of runoff and you keep all the effects on the top okay, okay. you know I, i've seen them tape it i just didn't know was, this looks cool. uh, oh. who likes that that little ron dockler vein right there yeah, is beautiful yeah. even that gold that, that yeah, little the gold. gold yeah what's oh. the first time she's ever done it <laughs> there you go that gold vein was done by a first timer it's looking good yeah. all right I'm gonna go That's back. Exactly what really? this was. Back this over was here. A piece of resin that the customer didn't like. She didn't like the way it looked. I sanded that open with 200. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us today. And then I applied two coats of our epoxy undercoat. It's gonna be a brand Really been a so good time. There is Rhonda with RK3 Designs. If you want to learn how to do this in right. real life, hands-on training, ready? check her out in Texas. Go? Yeah, we're ready. Okay. So this is the face. They're gonna walk in like this. Yeah. So what do you think, Rhonda? Like a kind of a. I'm thinking. A little degree flow. Well, yeah, a little bit of a flow this cool. way. So what we've done, guys, is we've mixed up. Uh, Moderators, with thank you so much for helping me out. Opaque dyes. We've used those before. We used a white a opaque dye and a gray, and we added a little bit of black, like a tiny smidgen, and we made a custom gray. And then I added just a little tiny bit of white mica powder just to give this opaque dye a little bit of a shimmer okay we, we certainly it we wouldn't consider it high metallic right. it's just got a little bit of a shimmer and then we've used white mica powder okay very opaque we, we very opaque and then we came in with straight white opaque dye and then what we did we always say when we're doing this we mixed up our opaque dye to look like whole milk all right see the difference in that one where it's more translucent and then we mixed up the same white dye but we only put a tiny bit to make it look like skim milk right and by doing the two colors we're going to build depth in our piece okay all right and then we have the all so famous diamond dust all right and this color sample is mega easy if you saw yesterday it's going to be just the same we're going to use our hands as our tools we're going to blob these colors out kind of do your flow mm -hmm. as you pour them out and then you'll keep that same flow as we meld them so you want to go you want to go yeah let's go, gray. let's go gray let's go gray first I have about half that gray cool down 
before that guy share the video crush the like button let us know where you're watching from we appreciate you watching us here on youtube let's do this let's do it all righty Hey guys, so do you want me our, to our come in close and give you an overhead okay, shot, or do you want to see first? Rhonda and Mitch and Frank? Let me know in the comments. Cup. Now I'm coming behind him with just the white opaque dye, and I'm going to go ahead and put all of that out. Cool. All right, and then we're going to, you know what? Let's closer would be great. Cup. Okay. Okay. Now this is our white metallic. I'm gonna kind of, and you can see, guys, I'm really thinking hard about where I'm putting this. <laughs> not, I'm just putting it. How about that? How about that? That's right. There you go. <laughs> How was that, guys? Now you're guys? making me nervous. All right. So now this is our transparent. Yeah. Let's white. Show, look at this. That's our our solid dye. See the difference? Oh yeah. So we're gonna be building some That's some nice. real good depth there. That's awesome. All right, now I'm going to come back in with our leftover gray and kind of bring that in as well. And the reason we waited is so that we can kind of layer, layer these colors. And as we layer, we're just building some really cool designs by layering our colors. I'm going to put a little bit. Now this is the diamond dust. We're just going to put a little diamond dust down right now, and then we're going to come back and add some diamond dust a little bit later. All right, I'm gonna get melding. Yeah. Let me just take my hands and real easily, I don't wanna over meld. I'm taking resin into the dried areas and I'm keeping the same sort of flow. You don't wanna really go cause you're gonna create mud. It'll all become one color. So Ronald, gonna help me out there. And just take that palm of your hand, this really expensive hey tool that we're using, I'm back. and by just kind of sliding it over the surface, we're covering up the, all of that um, substrate. Giving it some flow, movement, and great gray, Rhonda. Right, bringing it over those edges so that it can Yeah, so I'll, I'll run some resin over, and then I'm gonna wet that down completely. It's sticky. What that does is now when resin flows, it's going to be real uniform. Like, come check out right here. There's little, just single runs going. Now it's going to continue running there unless you break up that surface tension, rub those edges. And now the colors will uniformly. Oh man, this Isn't that is already beautiful? looking awesome. I think is we Peter ought to here? tilt it as well. I'm glad Peter's not here. He'll be surprised when he sees it. Yeah. All right, guys, and we're using three ounces per square foot on this surface. And you'll notice we did not tape our edges. A lot of times we will tape our edges and that's when we use more than three ounces per square foot. But this finish, we're not having to use any more than that. So we're not needing to tape our edges. Dang, that looks great already. Yeah. I mean, we, Mitch, this could be a finish all on its own. Done. Done, done. But we're probably gonna go to a next step. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> what you thinking? I'm thinking we ought to let it just, let's tilt it maybe just a tiny bit. Let's t warm her up then and get rid of a little bit of that air bubbles. I need some towels. Towels. There right, we go. So when you guys, you're doing your edges, like we talked about earlier, you wanna run your hand underneath there to make sure that that epoxy really flows down over your edges. Do you think the torch is going to stay in the wind? Yeah. I've never poured outside like this. It's kind of cool. Blue, close up please. Is this close up enough? No. Yeah, give him a shot of that before we do anything else. This could All right. be done. I love the gray. We're going to fly right. over. Fly over, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. We're getting windy. Perfect amounts of diamond dust. Come on up here, guys. Check this out. Are we done? Away. I think we walk away. Walk away. You say walk away. <laughs> Should we miss? Okay, so we're gonna, guys. I know you say walk away, but I want you to let it run. There's a little darker, a little darker gray veins. I want you guys pile. to see what happens when you mist it without, with a little bit of alcohol. What it does with the uh, isopropyl, uh, with the mica powder. Oh, we're gonna maybe add a little more gray. Okay, we're gonna. 
We're going to add some veins now of uh, just diamond dust. And look what, the, look what those oh, veins of cool. diamond dust does. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. I'm getting right in your way, Rhonda. Now, as we add that, those veins are going to kind of sink down. As the epoxy starts to cure and, and level out those particles in the diamond dust, you they're going to so start sinking. See something like that, a little polka dot? You don't like it? Yeah. So we got to keep it pretty uh, in the same awesome. color family with this really piece. Really user-friendly. What does it smell like? You guys smell this a at all? gray tile. Well, we're outside, so that's kind of cheating. But you could do this in a small RV. You could do this in a van. It doesn't matter. It's safe. There's no VOCs. You don't have to wear a respirator with it. Tons of time to man, beautiful. All right, guys. I Let's miss it. Real life. What about the heat? Wow. The heat won't affect it like when it gets really, really hot. Like no. So it's okay. the uh, it can withstand. It was designed for oh, yeah. the use and abuse in a kitchen and bathroom. Okay. So you have hot pots and pans. We don't recommend taking yeah. it right out and putting it on. You don't want to do that to any kind of tub. Right. But no. it, let's say you miss your hot pad and half your cookie sheet is now sitting on your epoxy. It can withstand up to 460 degrees. Okay. For extended periods Zero of time. VOCs. Keith has done amazing, so, crazy uh, cool no, uh, durability smelly. testing. So, so if we, I, I uh, with our top coat put on, you could, that you could put stuff all over this. It's not going to scratch. It's durable. Shout out for new Broncos. Hey. Natural look, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah we were just, we were just there the other day. I'm from Seguin. Yeah. We're gonna do a couple big drops of alcohol. Who's that from New Broncos? Uh, K-E. I don't know their name on here. Now see what that does to... Oh, he's missing it. See how that, that alcohol, what it does to that dye, it just gives such a pretty finish. Now this is still, you can't judge it right now because it's still going to keep moving. Uh -huh. And all of these are going to really soften <clears throat> out. So it's going to create such a realistic stone look. Let me know if you guys want me to give you a close edge here, and I'm rubbing those drips. I'm coating the bottom of this wood, and it's now. You don't want to get sticky. <laughs> All right, that's going to be the worst. The worst thing you're going to smell working with epoxy is fondo and spray paint. You want to wear a mask when you're spraying spray paint. Whoever that is from the Man, this looks really pretty, Rhonda. I don't think we messed with it anymore. No, I'm good, but we need to get out of here. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to get this into the storage container we need uh bring bring the live with us luke because yeah. there's nothing in there they're going to see we could show them the outsides of the vans we'll give them a little tour after yeah that. yeah so do you guys need, want though, a tour somebody, of the reality show somebody needs to grab the sawhorses with for well, me uh, I'll grab uh, uh, i need I somebody grab to grab the piece with me and somebody where's keith i need you keith can you grab the sawhorses okay you want me to do another and, and don't, don't move yet i gotta get a flyover copy so and then, you need more than one which we don't have Say what? You need no, the ones, ones that underneath We're going to grab the ones under here. Oh. We're going to take this piece into a shipping container. Do we want to oh. do another oh, video? Wait till we later. can, but I want to get this yeah. out of here. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, yeah, we'll just mix up. If you guys are patient, we're going to run this into the container yes, and do one more piece. Y'all yeah. want to see that? Yeah. yeah. How about right, we let definitely. them get their hands dirty and help you? Hey, I'm all yeah. for Who that. wants to get their hands dirty? All right. All right. Cool. So cool. let them get that inside out of the bus. Don't move it yet. We'll mix up some more. Thank you. Hey, Mitch. Yeah. Can you give a, a recap what we just did for Lumix? I can. Here, get this shot right here, though. We got a suicide uh, bomber who, who dove into the epoxy. So you have five, six, seven hours to get bugs out. But if you're in a, the right location, yeah, I'll give you a close up right now, guys. Bye. Sorry, buddy. Nice knowing you. It was your own fault. But you know, the fact that you're doing it less than ideal conditions that the snow comes out like that is amazing. Right on. Right. Looks better than that old beat up piece of wood, right? Yes. I was like, this is, Sorry, just, this is just amazing what you've done. This is crazy. Is totally crazy. changed the whole look of that RV. That is amazing. And, I mean, the yeah. school bus, and it's going to tie right in with the backsplash. So we'll go take this, Luke. Hey, YouTube, loosen up. We're going to go. No, you could keep going there. We're going to take this into a shipping container, then we'll go show them the school bus that it lives in. Show them and we'll do the little backstage action at the show gutted. As long as you go download Bent Blank Space and watch season one, then we'll do it. There we go. All right. You want me to help carry this? Yeah, we're out of here. Let's go. Okay, wanna, so wanna... I need one other person to come with me to open up the All right, plastic. guys, we're going to go mobile with the live. And then, uh, uh, 
Let me know how it's Thank looking you. as we go. We're gonna show you the bus this bad boy's going in. So just grab both to see what's uh, all Yep. Okay. Yeah, we were checking <laughs> all that. Yeah. There's not much left in there. <laughs> no, it's pretty bare. They've yeah. they're using man, I'm in love with this. Great gray, yeah. Ron. Yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. Um, is that, yeah. that talking head for the Lumix, did you do that? Oh, no, I did not. <laughs> Clear? Uh. <laughs> just tell them what adjectives we use. There's another book. Yeah, I'll just uh, uh, recap. All right, folks, there you have it. We mixed up our pot. Okay, just the, just the color coat because we already did the whole Just the color record. coat. All right, we mixed up about 32 ounces of epoxy, divided those into separate mixing no. cups. We tinted, Rhonda did a heck of a job tinting a custom gray, great work. And then we did some diamond dust, white mica powder, and a pure white, whole milk version, and then white skim milk version. A Take lot two. Uh, more translucent, blob those on, used our expensive tools, smeared them around. I absolutely love your fax fractured diamond dust. Diamond dust veins. That looks like natural quartz running through slabs. I've installed absolutely. granite that has that going through it. Absolutely. Oh, I can't pound you. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> All right. So, and then from there, guys, we're going to get this into our dry room. We're outside in Mother Nature, not where you want to be doing epoxy. We're going to get this into our heated dry room. It's got plastic up. We'll let this cure. Tomorrow we'll be back to apply the ultimate top coat. Perfect. Thanks, Mitch. And then grab a couple <laughs> sticks in case. All right. Cool. All right. Get Let's going. Go. Uh, Keith. Here, hold on. Do we need the shims? Hold on, the shims? <laughs> to level it when you get it. No, because the okay. container's level. Okay. okay. So don't worry about what's on there. Okay. Okay. And you actually, you'll see two yellow things up. You can put those down. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yes. Thank it. Y'all got it. All right. Let's go, Keith. Thank you, Rhonda. That was perfect. And here we go. Put these little things down. All right, guys. We're going to wait. All right, everyone. So if you're just tuning in, my name is Luke with Stone Coat Countertops. I am behind the phone right now. There's a Big Mitch down there and Keith McGinnis with KCDC Designs. We just finished doing the color coat. We're going to put that in the dry room. And uh, we'll get a little sneak peek of what is all happening out here. So let me know if you have any questions as I go along. I'm going to try to give you some behind the scenes of the builds but I can't do too much because they're currently filming and uh, can't give all the secrets away run Luke run I don't want to run it's too hot yesterday it was cold now it's hot here you guys want to see see some cool uh, filming what's up Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So we have the van, the schoolie, the little RV. Three teams. The bus team got it in the bag. I think so. She says bus team. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, one of the reasons why we're here, guys, is uh, Casey and Igor with Tomas to Coast. She attended RK3 Designs class. I did. And now we're here. We're here. Yeah. Um, awesome. yeah. So I took the class for this. Go follow, go follow Casey and Igor on uh, Instagram, Tomaz Coast to Coast. Here's the rig that they're working on right now. And it's getting hectic. There's Igor, Casey's better half. 
Make sure to follow them on Instagram. Tell my ass goes to coast. Yeah. They uh, do RB renovations for a living. Big myth. Mission accomplished. Piece is nice and protected out of all this mayhem and sawdust. Let's give them the two of them. You ready? Uh, yeah. All right, here is the Team RV. We better not show them too much. So no. We're gonna get a far view. But you can see them working in there. It's a team of seven people that barely know each other. That can make some pretty dang good TV, right? There's been some drama already that we've witnessed, but we can't talk about it. All right, Team RV obviously has a pretty wicked grill going on. Sweet. There you go. All right, look at them in there, man. Oh, they got the pros in there with them, too. Right so the winners from last year get to come back as like nomads or pros, and they each get a few hours a day for extra help. And these are the guys that like won last season. There's a schoolie. Sorry guys, I don't have the best service out here. So if it's jumping. Check out the little all the all that goes into there. It's like, crazy, right? It is crazy. Little sneakers. Like, you want to check out the van? Yeah. You can't give them too much. So this is a why is that me and Luke? Luke and I I had no idea why they put the wood on there until we talked to one of them. I'll show you why. It's like, we just thought they did it for looks, but come and check this out. We'll show them why. So this is the, that is the sleeping quarters. That's your bed, right? So if you're laying that way, you just gain four more inches on either side. That's almost an extra foot of sleeping space, which can come in crucial for guys like me, not so much for guys like, or women like Rhonda. Ooh, look at that sewing machine there. Yeah, she's over here sewing. Look at their camera crew, guys. Show them the lid of that. Yeah. Look at the lid. Not bad, right? All right, that's all we get. Right. That's all you get the for scenes. there. That's all you get. I can, I, I just... Let's go show them the bus that our pieces are going. Oh, yeah. Guys, let us know if you have any questions too. We're gonna go on a little uh, walkabout across the street. Check out the bus that won last season. I'm just kind of like tell me. What is this? I would say that this is probably the most busy day yet, right? Yeah. Nobody's talking. They're just working. Yeah. Because they have today and one more day. Yes, they do. That was a producer of the show that just walked by, guys. I'm glad he didn't see us showing you the buses. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Last year's schoolie. This is where our table's going. So here's, here, I'm gonna show them the outside real quick. So here's the bus. Yeah, okay. There's some people coming out. Hello. You know, took the table. You have no nice table there. <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you so much. Did you see something about that? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right. Subscribe on YouTube. We'll teach you how to do it. Right on. Nice meeting y'all. All right. So here we are, guys. Way cool. Cupboards. That's their wardrobe. Got a bar in there. Check it out. They put all this together in five days. I believe. The storage. Here's the backsplash we matched. So and let us know if you think we, you know, did a good job matching. Yeah, there's that backsplash from earlier. So what do you guys think of that? And then here's where our table's sitting. So that's where we took the table out. Pretty sweet. So this thing will lower. Give you a bed up top. This thing lowers here, and then that, that table now becomes a bed. Oh, so, wow. Isn't that cool? And the colors of the table are going to match the uh, surrounding yeah. decor. Yes. I think we just would have made grand champion last year if we did that thing on this table, bro. Oof. Right? What's they won with this build. They won with this. There would have been no competition with a little bit of stone coat epoxy. Any questions, guys? Thanks for watching.
we've got one more full day of uh, filming. They're gonna wrap up tomorrow. And then we get to figure out who won. And there's no amount of money that uh, you could pay me that I will tell you. Mm -hmm. Because we're coming back next year. It's gonna be bigger and better, season three. Again, download the app. Blank Space, I just drew a blank. <laughs> download Blank Space, season one is free. It's streaming right now. Season two is coming out early 2023. Guys, thanks for watching. Are there any questions, Luke? Uh, yeah, get your final questions in, guys, and we're gonna call it for the day. We got some more projects to make. Yeah. Well, let's go see if they're mixing up early. Yeah, they want let's go see. Going. So uh, as we're walking, guys, let us know if you have any questions. Oh, well, here, we're gonna go see. So uh, this is one of the other producers for the show. And uh, this is uh, his table that we're doing right now. This is the quiet they've been all week, right? Oh. No one's talking, they are busted. Well, you're in day four, <laughs> and so this is a huge push day because if you don't get a lot done today, all you have is tomorrow. And that, they're, they're not going to be sleeping tonight if that's the case. They'll be stressing. Oh, yeah. they they're just be. looking good. The, you, the, the rigs are looking really good. Yeah, day four is when a lot of things come together. Right, right. It's an important day. Even from this morning, like, how much more has been done is impressive. It is. I'm really excited, especially to see the sun rate of the RV. Because it's like, you can see it's like product. It looks, it looks really Right. Amazing. We didn't show the audience that product, so they have to tune in to, to gutted season two Absolutely. on Blank Space. It's going to look, look amazing. It is. We didn't, amazing. They, they've been screaming at us. Show us the shower. Yeah. So we can't do it. <laughs> not so, yet. Not yeah, yet. Not right. All, All right. right We're going to go show them. Great. Them. Awesome. It's a gutted yeah. season two mascot. Yeah, there is a mascot. This guy can give me a ride around the town. It's <laughs> beast. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be for, oh, he wants more. Oh, we do the, should we show him the baby wood stove? No, all right, we'll have to tune in the season two. Should we give it a wrap or go see if we're, uh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Guys, that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching. Share the video after we get this up. That helps us grow so much. We appreciate you. And until next time from Stone Coat Countertop, you got this and we'll see you on the next.